in the case of a blue ash man accused of raping a northern Kentucky woman who he met on a dating app appears to be deadlocked. Yeah, just about an hour ago, the jury told the judge they have reached a verdict on one of the five counts against 34 year old Brian Carr. So what happens next? Mike Shell's live at the Hamilton County Courthouse with the latest. Mike, what do you know? Yeah, Tricia, after 12 hours of jury deliberations over a three day period, the jury late this afternoon told the judge that they have come to a verdict on the felonious assault charge, but cannot come to a consensus on the five other counts against Brian Carr. Brian Carr of Blue Ash is facing multiple counts of rape, gross sexual imposition, sexual battery, and felonious assault. The alleged victim testified that in November 2022, the two met on the dating app Hinge and agreed to meet at Carr's apartment in Blue Ash. The woman claimed they had consensual sex, then went out to a bar. When they came back to Carr's apartment, the woman testified that she had one Long Island iced tea, blacked out, and then regained consciousness to find Carr raping her. The day began with Judge Patrick Dinkelocker bringing the jury into the courtroom to ask them about something he said he had never allowed before, letting the jury take the jury instructions home with them. After one juror said that he studied the documents for three hours last week but didn't talk to anyone about it, Judge Dinkelocker seemed convinced that the case was not compromised. Carr's defense attorney, Jay Clark, disagreed, and the prosecutor weighed in as well. I'm going to make a motion for a mistrial, okay. but submit it based on what we've heard from the jurors. Okay, thank you. Did you want to respond in any way, Ms. Burke? Your Honor, and I'll admit that I only had a few minutes to look over the case law that Mr. Clark presented, um, and my tertiary read of that said that it, it's potentially harmless error. Judge Dinkelocker denied the motion for a mistrial. Late this afternoon, the jury came back with two questions after telling the judge that they have reached a verdict on count six of the indictment against Brian Carr. Do we sign the signature forms in accordance with our personal decisions? The answer would be no, you do not. You only sign if it's a unanimous decision. As far as a unanimous decision on count six, if it is a unanimous decision, you all agree on that, you can go ahead and sign that form, okay? Uh, put your signatures on there in accordance with your findings. Okay, and I would ask you to hold on to that, okay, and just keep that with you. Now, even though there is a verdict on the felonious assault charge, we cannot know what that is until the other charges are worked out by this jury. The judge bringing them back tomorrow morning and will issue what is called the Howard Rule. That is simply instructing the jury to go back and to try their hardest to come to a conclusion and a unanimous decision on the other five counts against Brian Carr. Reporting live downtown, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now. Mike, thanks.